Hello, pizza enthusiasts. I thought I would do a video showing that even if it's late at night, you're about to go to bed and you remember, crap, I'm supposed to make pizza dough tonight so that we can have some tomorrow. This video is gonna show you then just about 15 to 20 minutes, you can make a great pizza dough, no compromises. I really don't consider anything in this a shortcut. It's just the way I do it. So you can see her, I'm microwaving half a cup of water to boiling. Boy, that boiled fast. We're gonna add that to a cup of water right from the tap. And now we have a cup and a half of water that is perfect for blooming our yeast. Measure out our four grams of yeast once we encourage the scale a little bit. There we go. And you can use any active dry yeast. It does not have to be the Caputo, whatever. I just got it off Amazon because I figure, hey, that's what everyone else is doing. Uh, this is a 50 pound bag of double zero pizza slash pasta flour. Um, you can totally use King Arthur blue bag bread flour. It works just fine. This is just a little finer ground. And hey, I was able to get 50 pounds for $26. So yeah, you can't beat that. Measuring out... Uh, 600 grams into our stand mixer bowl. And hey, if you're shopping for a KitchenAid stand mixer and you have a choice, the tilt head ones with the glass bowl, uh, I've heard mixed things about those. So I, I would try to get one with a non-tilt head uh, metal bowl. Just, just my personal preference. We're measuring out some nice uh, finely ground sea salt. Pick this up at uh, the chef store. Um, I do add sugar. I know that's not traditional, not Neapolitan style. Um, but to me, I've never had any problem with burning. The sugar, the salt, I'm going to add some, uh, you'll see here, I'm going to add some olive oil to my yeast now that it's been sitting for a little while. We just turn on our, our dough hook. Again, we added just a glug of olive oil to the yeast and the warm water. Whisked it up until it's emulsified. And I just pour it, pour the warm yeast and olive oil mixture down the side slowly. And you'll see the dough starts to come together. This is the important part. I set a timer for 10 minutes. This is sped up a little bit. So if it does this where, where it's kind of, you'll see where some of it separates from the side and is just kind of spinning around and not getting kneaded. Yeah, like there. I'll lower the bowl and raise it up again and then it comes together. I think this was about 10 minutes. See ya. See ya in a second. Started feeling the dough and it was still a little play doughy. It was not really a tight good ball. Yeah, just it's not ready. This is 10 minutes and 10 minutes wasn't enough. I did tear off a little piece of dough. I don't have it on video. Um, tear off a piece of dough, pull it apart with your fingers and check to see if you can see light through it. Uh, it was, that's the window pane test and it just wasn't there. It, uh, it ripped a little bit. So I put it back in the stand mixer, beat it for another minute and a half, took the dough, tucked it under. It was perfect. Put it in an oiled bowl, put it in the fridge and went to bed. Here we are the next day, about four hours before pizza time. And you can see it has doubled in size. When you poke it, you get it, it keeps the impression. Uh, so I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for a couple hours. I divided the dough up into balls, let it rest for 90 minutes. Topped it, pulled it out, and I am really happy with the results. I'm happy with that. That's a uh, pepperoni artichoke pizza. And that's the bread structure that you get when you get your dough sufficiently worked. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like and subscribe if you want.